Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, we've got some showers pushing across the area here this evening. You can see radar lighting up with some of that green that represents rain, especially the farther north and west one works from downtown Cincinnati. So if you're heading up into parts of Butler, Franklin counties, northern Dearborn, Ripley counties here in southeast Indiana, obviously a little bit wetter and some of that rain steadier and heavier as you head up into Fayette and Union counties, for example, from Liberty over towards Connorsville. In fact, I can take you up to Connorsville right now, courtesy of our weather bug camera, and you can see here the roadways are wet across areas northwest of Cincinnati. The farther northwest you head again this evening, the steadier that rain will be. However, you can even see from high atop Karoo Tower, we've got a few raindrops falling right here in downtown. So you'll be dodging some showers this evening. It doesn't look terribly wet around the metro. The farther northwest you go, though, into southeast Indiana, up towards I-70, it will be wetter. So showers north, breezy and cool at 9 o'clock by 11, still breezy and cool as we fall back into the low 50s around the metro right now. Everyone hovering pretty much in the mid 50s. We didn't manage to even crack 60 this afternoon because of the arrival of clouds and some showers right now. 57 officially at the airport. We've got an easterly wind and that's going to be picking up and that may even add a little bit of a chill to the air as we head into the next couple of days. It's as cool as 51 in Batesville, 56 in Dillsboro, where there's still a little more sun shining southeast of Cincinnati Maysville. You're coming in at 63. You can see this band of rain stretching out in our direction. The initial surge of rain, most of which will stay to our north and west. The steadier rains really aren't going to build in until much later tonight and then into the day on Thursday. This potent storm system taking a pretty far southerly track going to keep us on the cool side of this system. So severe weather is not a concern, but heavy rain could be especially late tomorrow. Here's a look at future cast. You can see through the evening. Don't expect widespread steady rains, but some showers again, especially farther north and west after midnight. Steadier showers will overspread the entire area. There will probably be some off and on rain to begin tomorrow morning, and then those rains will become steadier, especially in the afternoon tomorrow. And notice with these brighter colors, some of that heavier rain will move in in time for your evening commute. The dinner time hours. I won't even rule out you know, tomorrow afternoon and evening, while I don't think we're talking severe weather, there may even be a few rumbles of thunder with some of that heavier rain before it tapers off into showers overnight Thursday and during the day on Friday. We'll keep some cool showers, very cool ending to the week and start of the weekend. So 50 for a low tonight, breezy and cool with again a few showers picking up and becoming steadier after midnight. And then for tomorrow, off and on rain, breezy, could hear a few rumbles of thunder in the afternoon and evening, 63 for your high. Here's your day planner, 51 with some off and on rain in the morning. Again, I don't expect a lot of heavy or widespread rain to start your Thursday. So the first half of the day, then the rain picks up the second half. Here's your seven day forecast. 50s for highs Friday and Saturday. Matter of fact, over the weekend, we could even see some patchy frost Saturday night and then again on Sunday night. And that means a chilly start to the Flying Pig Big Marathon on Sunday morning and maybe some showers, Mike and Cherie, into the early events on Saturday. All right. And before the big events on Sunday, you got the big events on the whole.